Hello, my name is Lucas, this is a bit of lit, and I'm here to talk about, no microphone this time, uh, I'm here to talk about, where'd it go? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Six Records of a Floating Life by Shan Fu. I believe that is how you pronounce his name. I looked it up earlier, which I really need to do every time I read a Chinese novel. I, I don't know why I haven't been doing that, uh, but... Um, yes, this book is excellent. I really like it. I think it's good fun. Uh, it is the recordings of a man's life. Uh, let's just read it. This is from the very early 19th century. Uh, as it says, it is an extraordinary blend of autobiography, love story, and social document written by a man who was educated as a scholar, but earned his living as a civil servant and art dealer. In this intimate memoir, Shan Fu recounts the domestic and romantic joys of his marriage to Yun, the beautiful and artistic girl he fell in love with as a child. Their relationship is just wonderful. They, they get along really well together. They joke with each other. They, they have their frustrations with each other and just <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, he also describes other incidents in, in his life, including how his beloved wife obtained a courtesan for him and reflects on his travels through China. Shan Fu's exquisite memora, memoir, not memory, uh, shows six parallel layers of one man's life, loves, and career with revealing glimpses into Chinese society of the Qing dynasty. This lyrical translation conveys all the descriptive immediacy of the original. The introduction describes the ways in which the book offers a unique insight into family life, government, and the powerful role of the courtesan in 19th century China. This edition also includes a chronology, maps, and notes. Uh, from what I understand from what the introduction says, uh, a courtesan in Chinese context is a uh, woman on the side, <laughs> basically, but not just that. They, they had a lot of power in their own way in their relationships. Um, and would have been quite important for Shan Fu to have. And anyway, this relationship that he has with his wife is uh, really interesting. She eventually does become quite sick, and you can see how worried he is for her. However, at the same time, to pay for, you know, taking care of her, he, you know, acts as an art dealer instead of you know, as is <laughs> taking some position that he could have where he would have had more regular income and been able to afford more and hopefully helped her. But that was too low for him. He's quite ambitious in his own way. He's got a lot of pride, uh, not necessarily all bad. But um, I really enjoy it. I like his relationship with his wife, uh, although you do have to take it with a grain of salt in some ways. Um, and when he's talking about all the simple pleasures with his wife and the jokes and the frustrations they have had with each other and, and the courtesan as well, um, when that element arrives, uh, it's really good and very fascinating to read. Uh, it, it feels very much alive despite being over 200 years old. Um, the way this man describes his thoughts and his his decisions and uh, his responses to what other people say uh, in his life uh, and what they do um, is just really fascinating to uh, dive into. And uh, there's other excellent parts, like, for example, uh, there's a part uh, where he talks about his travels, his long journey travels. and. That's really good fun to see uh, some very old um, sort of travel writing for uh, not ancient China, but Qing Dynasty China. And uh, another element is when he's talking about some sorrows he's had in his life, including his wife's death and also his father's death. Um, it is really, I mean, it's just so full of life, like I said before. It's really moving in a lot of ways. and very relatable and uh yeah i i, I really like this book <laughs> it, it is mm, not for everyone i wouldn't necessarily recommend it but um you know if you want to read 
the thoughts of a man from Qing Dynasty China, I guess, then this would be the book for you. Okay, thank you.